Acts chapter 1. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and teach. Now, did you notice we are talking about alignment and assignment? And I can show the ministry of soul when he became Paul. And how he grew. By the time he gets to his later books, you will see the progression of the weight of inspiration. Inspiration is not always heavy as God. Inspiration is heavy as the man that can host it. So it's not that all God, one, God has told you is because that's all there is. That's all you can handle. That's why Jesus says, to you it has not been given to me. And then he says, now I have many things to tell you. The problem is not that I cannot say. This version of you cannot hold it. So based on that, I will limit information. Not because of I don't have. It's because of the carrier of the information. You, you don't have capacity to host it. So the Lord will restrain. And let me tell you, anointing is like a bladder. It can be stretched. So what God put on you is not all you are becoming. It can be stretched. But alignment is what stretches anointing not assignment so how aligned you are is how much the anointing will flow i don't make men prophets i reveal men to their god god defines the men i don't i'm not i don't have a liberty to call you anything he says to some he gave not we gave i was not involved when jehovah was making men to some he gave pastors who told you to name them your job is to reveal people to themselves by making them aligned to jehovah and I've seen a lot of people being called pastor. They don't have the anointing. They should be in the marketplace. But the man of God is looking for someone that can wash his shoe. As a sign and then have 10 security people. You are the one that people should be protected from. The type of gospel you are preaching. People need security from you. You need to know some of us are the ones that need security. Because what we teach, we meet enemies. Yet we are free. The ministry of Jesus did not begin by assignment the ministry of Jesus began with alignment and that alignment needed that at 12 years we get a record of what he's aligning to so at 12 years we have a record that it was aligning his ministry to uh, he grew up with wisdom and stature so Jesus at 12 had wisdom our children at 12 what do they have just because he was the son of God, don't think he has training. The training of Jesus was intense and though he was the son of God. So tell your neighbor, neighbor, being born again is not absconding from training. The goal of God is not to forgive you always. The goal of God is to build you where you do not need the forgiveness. So Philippians 1 verse 6, he who began a good work in you shall be faithful to complete it. And did you realize Christians... The, the way we teach, our, the work that Jesus begins is outside. The work we emphasize on is not that Philippians 1 verse 6. Because the proof that the Holy Spirit is on a man is not what he looks on the outward. It's who he's becoming on the inward. Yes, That's the proof that the ministry is following the teachings of the Holy Spirit. So the ministry of Jesus began with a doing. Alignment. The Lord begins to teach him how to align. Teach him. That he knew that at the end of it, when the boy is of age at 30, I want to use him. Some of you, you are almost at your using time, but God is prolonging it. Yes. Because when he knows that at 30, I want to meet you. But when he sees almost at your 30th birthday, you are not ready. So he will say at 34, oh. I will come again. Then he now comes at 34. At 36. You are still not aligned. You are still doing things haphazardly. So God doesn't want to lift men that will derail his calling. So he'll allow. And you see his love. He'll, he'll still be looking for you. At 70, you are still not ready. So the conversation will now be, because I gave you the promise, it will still be within your home. But I won't use you. So you will not build me the temple. But the idea was that you are the one from heaven that was to build. But because you are too late. I've checked that 90 years later, you will still be doing this thing. So you, I will accord you heaven, but I will not use your nuts. So 
he will now leave you. Then he now come and look for David. And then he look for Solomon. He now says, Solomon, I had a promise with your dad. I want to build a temple. So whatever that was on your dad, it was not for you, but you are a proof of a failed man. I'm doing something with you. I should have done something totally different, but I need someone to pay this price. So I will now do with you what I was supposed to do for your father. So your wilderness will be twice. You pay for your dad and yourself. Because every promise stands on the wilderness that it encounters. We went wrong somewhere. I'm not claiming to be right. But we went wrong. Man of God, you wonder why your ministry is uh, not growing. It's because you're looking at growth from men. Not from your own doing. Grow privately. He will expose you publicly. 